Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. So, I've got this done in the interim here. I've got some other things going. <clears throat> let's let's kind of catch you up on things before I get too much further. So, I've added a mod into the game. I, it is the Pliers mod. These little guys right here. Yay! Uh, it is really useful. It basically just allows me to do things like disconnect pipes. Like, you know... Oh, look, I have disconnected that pipe without having to send a duplicate to go deconstruct one of them. It's perfectly fine. Um, so there's things like that. That's pretty much the only mod I've added. It is just too useful. See, I can just reconnect like that anyway. So there's that. So I realized my mistake here. The water sieve outputs uh, polluted dirt, not uh, clay. But the deodorizers output the uh, clay. However, they need polluted oxygen to run, but polluted dirt emits polluted oxygen. The more of it is, that is there, the more of it it outputs. So this still kind of works. I am going to make one more change here. Uh, in addition to the fact that I need to get in here, because apparently there's some bleach stone in here that I really need to sweep up. I think there's some right here, too. Nope, okay, there's just that one piece there. Alright, we'll sweep that up. Um, and I will need to deconstruct just buildings to get back in here and do that. Uh, I'm also going to want to get back under here, uh, deconstruct that tile, and I will be deconstructing this mini gas pump. I, 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 had, I had an idea, and it's not working. So we're going to deconstruct that, and we're going to deconstruct that gas vent as well. Uh, what about the... Got those, the gas pipes. Yeah, that'll be fine. And what I will do is I will instead bring some gas pipes down to there. And then these gas pipes can be deconstructed. There we go. Alright. So there we go. Let's super speed this. Let them get it done. So what's basically going to happen here is I'm going to rework this a little bit. We're going to get the uh, polluted oxygen piped down here to where it's going to have to go past the deodorizers instead of pretty much anything else. So we've got that. We're going to need something. We need something else here. Oh, right. It was the gas vent. I need the gas vent. You go right there. Boom. Also priority nine, please. Oh, some of these are not priority nine. That'd be why. There we go. Do your thing. Do, 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 do. Come on, guys. Do the things. Oh. That's part of the problem. Do that, too. Do, 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 do. Look at that. Getting that all done. There should be... Yeah, the... Because that, that bleach stone is emitting chlorine, and I don't really want that getting around. There we go. All right. So we they just need to get those now, which are not priority nine, which is be why they're doing that. Uh, you... I'm sure supposed to be five. You guys are six. Good. Could somebody please go do that? All right, we're going to priority nine, close this guy back up. Because it's going to kind of be important for the oxygen to come out and stay out. Uh-oh. <sighs> Could you guys seriously not build yourselves in? And now it's the end of the shift. You know what? We're going to do this. We're going to say, just bloody do it. There. And now this one as well. Just get it done. Because I'm tired of looking at it. Anybody? Anybody? No? Alright, they've put it in place, but nobody's coming to do it. You know, this would work a lot better. Come on, guys. There we go. Alright, now. What should be happening here is this. The little mini gas pump here is sucking up anything that's in range. The polluted ox the, the polluted dirt is outputting polluted oxygen. If I can get mouse over, well, you know, mouse over this one. 
There we go, that's outputting some polluted oxygen. There should be some here, too. Yeah, polluted oxygen. Uh, the more of it that builds up, the more of it will, you know, be output at once. It'll all get sucked into there where it is getting filtered. The filter is saying, hey, I'm filtering out polluted oxygen, so it is outputting down here now. Uh, where it will go through the airflow tiles to get to the deodorizers, because it's going to be constantly lower pressure up here. Hopefully the deodorizers will suck all of it up. If not, it'll just get recycled through the system again. And the system will output anything that isn't polluted oxygen, which should just be the regular oxygen, as it goes. So there we go. And this whole system is basically making ceramic, because it this turns into cl the polluted dirt. Technically, it's making dirt, too, because the polluted dirt will, like, decompose into dirt as it emits the polluted oxygen um, ever so slowly. Uh, but it's also getting turned into, you know, the clay here, which will then get sucked up by this guy, put in here, and turned into ceramic. And that is happening. Let's see. Where's this? This? I heard that. I heard that go off. Some more aluminum? Sure, I'll take some more aluminum. All right. So that guy is now running good. And as you can see from here, we're shipping our regolith that comes in from space down here, although that's not entirely... Looks like our system is not powered. Not enough power. Oh, wow. There's a lot of damage there. Yikes. Okay, well that's going to be fun. So I've still got stuff backed up in here. And I'm not sure exactly what's going to go on with that. That's overheating. What in the world? How did you get in there? Oh, bloody hell. Alright, so the main problem here is that the system has this tendency to uh, not have enough power. You need that as well. How did this happen? And this is now going to be sitting here constantly overheating because of the regolith basically touching it. I actually had this fixed with a little bit of crude oil sitting there. It was cooling the whole thing. Let's actually see what's the temperature in the crude oil. Yeah, it's way too hot. <sighs> Could we uh, just fix this and this too, please? Somebody? Anybody? Just me? <sighs> oh look, more meteor damage. Why are you guys not producing enough power? Why is there power problems here? Like, seriously, what's going on? It's not this down here. I mean, it shouldn't be. Oh, why are you... Oh, you know what? You're drawing more power than this wire can handle. Oh, that's the same problem I had elsewhere. I should have remembered that. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do about it, because I can't run a heavy watt through there. And there's not enough room for a battery. I'll just have to leave it be for the moment. See where that takes us. Alright, oh, and so what I'm doing here... Um, I've only got the one basically set up to output at the moment. Um, why is this? Oh, it's because that doesn't have power, so it's not running. Got it. Alright, that is still overheating. But the temperature is going down. That's good. Oh, look at this. More landed... How did that land there like that? <sighs> what in the world? Alright, things are just going weird. Obviously I'm having some power issues. I'm guessing I'm particularly low on that. You're dormant. Got it. We're still having power issues. We gotta do something about power. Obviously, these guy little guys are running just fine. Um, you are not processing. Is our water backing up? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Alright. What are we doing? 
I don't know. What are we doing? We gotta get this system working again. Um, I'm probably gonna have to just tap into the mains, aren't I? Which basically means that one of these insulated tiles has to come out for the heat, or for the, the, the heavy watt join plate, but that's going to let heat out. Hmm. I mean, if I could get a vacuum in there somehow, it'd be fine. Yeah, I could probably manage that. Little mini gas pump, if it doesn't overheat. Yeah, but unfortunately, right now, our problem is more that we are not producing enough power. How does water keep getting in here? There's no power for that. There's water here somehow, too. How does that keep happening? Where's my thing? All right, let's mop this up. We've got some water. All right, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Ugh, just so many random little problems. I don't even know what I was planning on doing today at this point. Like, I was going to introduce the little thing that I got, the nice little system, and it stops running. Laysai. Oh, look, there's water here, too. Let's just kind of mop that up, too, please. And thank you. Come on. There we go. All right. It'd be really nice if I could get this guy running again. I mean, I suppose I probably could. What's the... the conveyor rail? Hmm, where's my rail? Rail, rail, rail. Rail, rail. Conveyor rail. I could reconnect it. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do that. We'll get this running again, and maybe we'll get ourselves up to temp. Who knows? Probably not, but... It's fine. Man, look at all this mess! We just don't have the power. We gotta do something about this. Alright, let's... First set to dig. Hopefully that will help these guys. All right. Maybe that's going to help. Who knows? We have another mess over here. All right. Who do, what do we got now? I, I don't really want any of those things. All right. Bam. That's going. We got no power. No power. How's our temperatures? Our temperatures are not great. Although we are starting to get a bit cooler in here, mainly probably due to this system, which is also currently not running. Because it has no power, and therefore cannot produce its own power. Oh, this is fun, isn't it? All right, all kinds of little problems. You're at least producing power, but you're only doing a little bit. You're dormant. We need a new power system of some sort. I keep meaning to make, like, a petroleum boiler, but I don't really have a good spot to do anything like that. We've got the gold volcano there. We've got leaky oil fissure. That one will spit out its own oil. Anything else? We don't have, like, a regular volcano or anything that I'll be able to reply, rely on for semi-regular power. We've got another saltwater geyser. I mean, we've got magma down here. But that stuff's going to eventually turn into, you know, igneous rock. How's our temperatures? Yeah, that's like ridiculous down there. Hmm, that's all neutronium. You know what? Let's... Let's go ahead and be like, we're going to explore a little. How about that? Let's explore a little bit. Let's just kind of come this direction. 
see what we can see. We're probably going to need a ladder. Not of Mafic. What is this stuff? That is Igneous. We will make a ladder of Igneous somewhere. Somewhere is Igneous. Igneous. Boop, boop, like that. All right, go do your thing. Do your thing, guys. We need to find something else that'll give us some more power. We need another good power solution. All right, you're going to do this. Do, 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 Look at you. Look at you go. And you stopped. And it's almost the end of the cycle, so, yep, there's people going to go. Let's see, have we uncovered anything interesting? Nope. Although we've got some more fossils and stuff down there. Hmm. Hmm. Just not finding much in the line of good additional power solutions. Maybe up here? I mean, there's got to be some stuff around here, right? Come over here. Looks like we got some more algae and stuff. I can always... Oh, right. I've got that. Oh, there's a minor volcano. I must have found that a long time ago. We've got a volcano right here. Okay. Now that I've completely brain derped... What am I going to do with this volcano? So I'm going to want to harvest the magma somehow. I have ceramics now, so I can actually encase this properly. Uh, this is also right by a bunch of abyssalite, so that'll actually work in our favor. Uh, tell you what, I'm going to come back once I have a proposed solution to this volcano. Now that I found the one, this thing that I've apparently found already. I will see you in a few. All right, I am back. Uh, this is what I've ultimately ended up coming up with. So, I have this design here. Let me walk you through it real quick before I go building it. This is actually multiple iterations in. I was designing for quite a while. Uh, more than the cycles would denote because I've had it paused while I've been designing. So, all right, we got our volcano here. I'm obviously going to put in some more tiles around here to close it off, but stuff's in the way at the moment, so I just left it for the time being. All right, so we've got a door here this door, if we go to our automation, this is our automation portion. Uh, so I've got a hydro sensor and a thermal sensor. Uh, basically, this is going to be set to send a signal when uh, the temperature drops below a certain point, and the hydro sensor will be set to uh, send a signal when the amount of liquid in here, in this instance, uh, the lava, uh, drops below a certain point. This is an AND gate, so when both of these conditions are true, it will send out the green signal and open the door. I have another thermo sensor over here that I'm basically just using as a switch that I don't have to have duplicates you know, do so that I can open and close the door at will. Well, at the very least, I can open the door at will. Haven't quite figured out how to make it, you know, basically force it closed yet, but yeah, that'll probably just take tweaking the settings on one of these two, so that'll be fine. So we've got that. Uh, I also, again, down here have a thermo sensor. I'm using it in exactly the same way as this one. It's just going to be a switch that I don't have to actually send a duplicate to switch. This is running to our sweeper. So it'll only pick up when I decide to let it pick up. Um, basically, I'll you know disable the door from going. I'll let this cool down and then turn the sweeper on, let it sweep everything out, call it good. There's that. We've got power running to it from there. da 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 our power loop is here. Um, we're going to need uh, to connect into the rest of the system, but that's... Well, we might not even necessarily need to connect into the rest of the system. I might just plop a battery down and let this thing power itself, because the only thing in here that needs to be powered before the system is active is our little mini gas pump here. That's just to end up emptying out anything... You know, I missed a spot there. Uh, emptying out any gases that get in here beforehand. Um, but, as you can see, I'm going to have this come in. So we're going to have some gas in here, but it's going to be steam. So that'll run the turbine. That will cool down our auto sweeper so that it doesn't overheat. That's the theory, at least. Now, of course, we have our rails here. Um, that's not our rails. That's our rails. All right, so I've got my conveyor loader up here. This will haul out the igneous rock, as the sweeper does its thing. This is going to have some material in it. Diamond, if I can get my hands on it. 
um, that will basically be running this, you know, running the loop in here to heat up, and then I can ship that heat off to wherever else I want to use it. Uh, probably powering steam turbines for the time being. Maybe I will use it to make a petroleum bubbler. Who knows? It's not important where that heat goes, just that it is going out of the system. So that's the basic setup here. So this thing will erupt, you know, it'll build up in this little chamber here until it's desired. That will come in. The one thing that I am slightly worried about is once the water that goes into the system flashes into steam, I'm a little concerned that it might end up uh, causing some of the uh, igneous rock and such to form over here instead of on the metal plates where it's supposed to. So that's the one thing I'm still a little worried about. And the auto sweeper can't reach it over there either. It has the three range in that direction, as opposed to like a seven range, you know, well, or something like that. It's got a big range. Let's see. Um, do, 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 do. It's going to be a little hard to have this out here, but um, no, it's actually three in all directions outside of its, uh, you know, little, uh, you know, form. But you can see, yeah, it's only got that much of a range. So that's the one thing I'm a little concerned about, but hopefully this is going to come in. And that's the thing is the door might also let the steam over here and let the the rock do the same thing. Let's see what igneous rock. Igneous rock. Mm, I don't know. I'm a little I'm a little concerned that it might do that. But there's no other way I can think of that is going to allow me to cool the auto sweeper and have the auto sweeper in here. The only other thing that I might possibly be able to do would be some sort of complicated door conveyor, but I really don't have the the, the space. Well, I technically have the space for it, but I'm trying to make this relatively compact, and I don't want to make it overly... I, I don't want to over-engineer it, basically. So what I'm going to do, now that I've got this thing set, uh, you know, kind of blueprinted out, I'm going to go ahead, get this built, and we will have to just kind of see it in action. Worst case scenario, the steam gets over here. This thing basically re-solidifies into a solid chunk of rock like it is now, and it blocks off the volcano, which will allow me to basically come in and redesign it anyway. So, like I said, that's the worst case scenario is everything gets blocked off. You know, and there's nothing to be done about it. Um, yeah, because this airlock is when it's closed and not letting it through, it will still transfer the heat. So there is, like I said, the possibility that this might solidify over here. I will have to give it a little bit of thought, but I'm going to go ahead and build it and see if that happens. Because if it doesn't happen, then I don't need to give it too much thought. And if it does happen, then the whole thing has solidified, and I can basically, you know, it basically gives me a reset button to start over. So I will come back in a few once I have got this built. I will see you then. All right, I am back again. I have got this mostly built. I've made a little bit of tweaking to it um, that I think will mostly fix the problems I was foreseeing. However, I've run into something else. So while the... Uh, you know, everything was getting built and all that. Uh, the volcano went from dormant to idle. So I've got this one piece of granite there that is preventing it from actually putting anything out. That's the spot where it decides whether or not it's over pressure. So there's no danger at the moment. Uh, however, it does mean that unless I wait for it to cycle back to dormant, which I have no idea how long that'll take, that I won't be able to analyze this volcano. So I have basically two options here at the moment. I can let this little pump finish, you know, its job of emptying things out, which, by the way, I'm a little concerned about this pump existing, too, but we'll get back to that. Um, em finish emptying this out. I've got a door down here to prevent most of it from coming in. Uh, unblock the volcano, get the duplicate out of there, and very quickly close, the, you know, and lock this airlock, hopefully preserving the vacuum in here. Or, I can wait for this to go dormant, analyze it, get a true vacuum in here before I finish sealing everything up. 
that's the smarter option, but I have no idea how long it's going to take is the problem. Uh, now, for the minor changes I've made, I've put a little bit of oil here, which might be an issue later on, but at the moment it should be all right, uh, since it should never reach the point where there is lava over here, and all of the insulation should keep it from heating up too much. Uh, but that is basically acting with some temp shift plates and the metal tile uh, to transfer heat between the auto sweeper and this. Now, this is no longer going to be getting heat directly from the volcano. It, once there's a vacuum in here, it should only be getting heat from that, and maybe the conveyor loader, but I don't know if the conveyor loader is working correctly in that regards. But I've got this open spot right here, so they can come repair it if it needs it. And the sweeper can sweep up any of the little bits that come out. So it should only produce a little bit of heat while it's running, which I have control over. So I'm hoping that that'll be fine. I set up a little system here just to kind of bring stuff out of the conveyor, all that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, this is already done. I've turned this off. This is a vacuum in here, and so I got some water set up. Uh, that's basically... I put a little bit of water in here. This will flash to steam at some point, but it'll basically allow me to get a proper uh, sensor reading on that. I still have to set up the actual amounts on these guys. Um, I can set up the thermo sensor at least. Uh, send a green signal if above. Uh, we want to keep this probably above 400 degrees Fahrenheit, right? That seems good, right? You send a green signal if you're above that. We'll figure out the hydro sensor in a minute. I gotta look up a couple of things. But that's basically where I am at the moment. Uh, I think I'm gonna do one more cut here and finish the episode by showing you guys this thing active or at the very least ready to be active if the if I wait for the volcano to go dormant again yeah we'll we'll wait on that and I will come back again in a moment for you guys and who knows how long for me since I gotta you know either wait for the volcano to go dormant or do a little bit of trickery I will see you then all right, I am back for one final segment for this episode. Uh, I managed to, I, I decided to risk it, and I'm kind of glad I did. So as you can see, this still has another five cycles on its idle. Uh, and this is after the amount of time that not only was, you know, since it attempted to erupt after not being dormant, or after, you know, stopping being dormant, it also had, uh, you know, some time while I was making a decision, while I was finishing building stuff, all of that. So it's got a long uh, uh, idle period, as you can see, 8,000 seconds, uh, and it only erupts for 64 seconds at uh, not very much. This is actually not going to provide me a whole lot, but hopefully the sheer amount of thermal energy will make up for there not being much mass, I'm hoping. Um, so yeah, it's not going to be normal for another... 45 cycles, so I'll have some time to let things build up. That'll be good. Um, and yeah, it's not going to erupt again for a little bit. Uh, it is active most of the time, though, so that's good. Now, there's been a couple other things. Now, what I'm going to do is, in between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and finish this rail out. I will set up a little steam turbine thing, probably somewhere over here, so it doesn't have to go too far. Maybe I'll do a petroleum boiler as well, although I think I'll hold off on that. I'll just set up a little steam turbine setup here to make use of this power. Now, other than that, while I was digging this, I discovered a couple of things. So, you can see out near the edge here, there's natural gas. I'll bet there's a geyser over here. And on top of that, there is a geyser here. So I've got two more natural gas geysers I can tap into. I'm probably going to go ahead and just tap into those uh, in between and set up another, uh, you know, natural gas generator set up maybe somewhere up here, you know, like above the uh, the, the, the steam turbines that I'm going to set up over here. I'll get that set up in between episodes, and we'll take a look at it then. But that is going to do it for this episode. What did we do this episode? Well, we tapped the volcano. It's not it, it's not quite, you know, erupting yet, 
but that's like five cycles from now. We're all set up to, you know, contain the lava, get the heat out of the lava. We just haven't, you know, set up the stuff that we are sending the heat to yet. So I'll wind up... Actually, let's switch this so that this door closes. Boop. Uh, let's not go super... Let's go... Yeah, here we go. All right. Uh, actually, hang on. I need to leave that open for the moment. Never mind. Because uh, I need to finish getting the little bit of oxygen out of here. The f over four and a half cycles should be plenty of time for this little pump to finish putting this in the vacuum. Uh, but hey, we've tapped a volcano. Um, with relatively minimal automation. I'm, like I said, I'm not too sure about the temperatures on the conveyor loader, but I've left myself a way to repair it, I think. So... We'll just have to find that out. And it should only produce heat while running. I'm a little concerned about this gas pump accidentally touching some lava and melting. But it's a minor concern. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's going to do it for this episode. So, until next time, have a good one.